Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, you're going to witness something interesting. I'm going to try to teach you why there is a reason for a higher brightness or ANSI lumen level or lumen level projectors still, even though they are lacking contrast. And you're going to see also in the second section of this video, you're you can go back and forth how the low contrasted bull projectors fail against the high contrasted LCD single LED projectors. So we got one bull, uh, Mozart one at the top and Epson TW650 at the bottom. Right now Epson is projecting the image at the normal power output settings and the width of this image, let me just hold that. And this is the large as it gets. I'm going to close the screen. So you're going to get a better idea. I'm going to go forward a little bit. Okay, this is a wide image. How wide it is? It's, this is not a scientific test, okay? It's about 252 centimeters, which means 221 is 100 inch. So it's about 110, 120 inch image. And if I can make it 4K, by the way, the camera is right now auto. Don't worry, it will be adjusted. So the resolution is the problem that I got the video lower the resolution. So this is the full HD video. I can't even make it 4K. Let's just make it 4K to give the best detail, okay? So I made a dedicated video. If you give the best video source to a projector, you will get the sharpest image. Let's go back and forth. Just go forward a little bit. I'm going to hit play. If it plays, yes. Let me just check. The Wi-Fi is on. Yep, the Wi-Fi is on. Let's continue with the Full HD. So this is kind of like a perfect picture, 120 inch. And the reason behind I'm doing this video is if you want to go big, you need brightness and I'm going to fixate the image brightness to the level of Epson TW650 which is around plus 3000 levels you're going to see it at the bottom of this video's description and probably in, under the video like technical details as a text but basically this is above 3000 ANSI lumen projector in the declaration of course real values are lower most of the time but you're going to witness 900 ANSI lumen on the declaration. But in my test, I reckon it was 460 plus, around 500-ish device with a lot more contrast. But since I'm going to fixate the brightness levels for the Epson, you're going to see pretty good contrasted image. But image is not like that. The point of this video is if you go big, with Epson or brighter projector and if you go big with a less bright projector what's the difference is it still viable option to go LED instead of a bulb or you do you need to go higher level of the brightness from your single LED projector too in that case the reason I'm telling this is many people let's just stop this scene here to make it exactly what it is as a single picture. Okay, this is a detailed picture. If you move the image, no problem. But fixed image will give us probably better ideas. Throwing ratio will be different from one projector to another one. But I'm going to fix the brightness level to the Epson. And from the 120, you're seeing the same size. I'm trying to reach the same size with the Wombo, I'm going to try to reach that. And you're going to back and forth and compare to one another. So that will give you a clear idea whether you should go for brighter projector or less than 1000 ANSI lumen projector is enough. In my opinion, for 100 inch, 120 inch, you can use it in a dark room, no problem. I am using it daily and it's very enjoyable. But there is still quite a bit of difference when you have the brightness and if you add this to an ALR screen, you'll get a lot contrasted image. So without further ado, we're going to continue 
resume watching and okay hit it like this and I'm going to again I hate this mobile apps but let's go back 4k give it a 4k and this is the 4k image it's going to play and I'm going to stop make the measurement for the Epson and we're going to continue this is the level of Epson at the high level okay I'm going to play the video and as you can see on the left I've somehow this made made the disappearance of the uh, black parts of this area because extra light is coming from projector but on the right we got a little bit more light as you can see I couldn't make all these things disappear but you're getting the clear idea this is the Epson and without changing too much of a thing I'm going to swap from Epson because Epson has a front cover and I'm going to open up the Wambu you will you will have to go back and forth for this and I'm going to go back and forth okay so I'm closing the Epson's front door and I'm going to open up the Wambu since we don't have anything on the Wambu side, let's hit the focus. Yep. Okay. I agree. And do we have a focus? Let's just move the Wambu a bit and then get it back. As you know, it's doing its thing, auto focusing. So it's also correcting the image. Don't focus on this correction, but let's just hit the hdmi in and go from the source go check the source yeah i think i need to go from here you got to go back and forth in this video sorry about that and samsung next is open right now somehow sorry for that dex close the dex and we're going to continue hop onto this and this is about it by far i'm going to get back to the screen of the camera by far you're seeing an extremely dark picture right now this image is much more contrasted compared to the epson i'm not trying to beat up the wambu with the epson it's not the thing of it like if i adjust it auto let's just put it here and make the correction without too much of a correction image sharpness is way better because if you uh, if you change the correct uh, change the angle right now you're seeing a pretty good image and the size of this picture let's take a look at the throw ratio is not looking like little smaller to me let's take a look at this from this point it's 223 this image is smaller so if i wanted to get it the same size with the epson okay i will have to hold it in my hand and hold it like this so i'm going to do it the sides and then get back to you maybe it will okay it's doing the autofocus by the way i'm seeing way better image than you do the main issue that i'm trying to tell you that brightness difference is there and when you go big you really realize it that's the point of the brighter projector so if you want to buy x2 max or t2 max new or tt for that matter you might consider the mozart one and the x5 or da vinci pro these are brighter bamboo models and they have extremely contrast when i do the auto settings of the camera in the second part of this video you're going to get a good image don't get me wrong this is a quite good image you can watch it in the home without any problem right now i am projecting above 120 inch it's a little difficult to getting the focus yes for this size okay around the 110 to 120 this is up top for the wombo mozart one i'm holding in my hand and i think the image is pretty good if you want to watch it in a dark room i don't have any problem with it and the third part you're going to see it again i don't want to be uh, let's just say uh, some part of a 
choosing the bulb over the LED. No, I really love the LED projectors and I daily use these devices. But the point is, if you got to have about 120 and above sizes, you definitely need the brightness. I want you to see the brightness difference. That's about it. Other than that, there is no difference. Let me just, from this, I'm going to swap to the Epson. Get ready. I'm going to close the box. Okay. I'm open up the Epson. Just in a second. And give it the, give it the signal. It deserves. Okay. So... Just a little bit, cancel the DAX and make it full screen. Here we are. The contrast is awful compared to one another. I can clearly see gray areas here. The contrast difference, one bull wins all the way. And it's somewhat giving better image. But if you add this projector and ALR, you'll get a brighter and bigger picture in the same time. So that's what the issue is. I'm not directing you to one to another. I am using LED or laser projectors daily basis. I really love them. And the contrast just gets me. But look how far I can go with this. Boy, it's heavy. So I am going quite a bit of back with the Epson right now. And Wambu is trying to somehow focus. And as you can see, it has light on the front. Let's just return this, okay? This is the image that you can get, and I haven't even made the focus. Right now, the image is in the focus, and I'm trying to cover off the Wombo's front light. I'm going to take the Wombo back, just for a second, just to explain. Right now, this image is about 130, and between 130 to 50. So definitely, you can watch this size, with around 3000 ANSI lumen. This is not too technical video. I will create a dedicated guide if you like this video and give us a thumbs up because there is a reason that brightness levels, we need to explain all the brightness levels, in my opinion, for the sizes that we need. This is without ALR. So we got the best brightness possible from the wall. If we had the ALR, it will consume some of the light and this will be a dimmer but much more contrasted image compared to this. And this is not an ideal image because blacks are not pretty much blacks. This projector doesn't have too much of a contrast. It's kind of like a projector for presentation. But I've used it for a long time and I really like the Epson TW650 and TW750. But those projectors are about $500 and you can buy probably Paris Rene 4K for that price. Or it could also beat up the Optoma UHD 35 for the same price. You can buy Biontech, some of the models. You can buy also other Vumble models. You can buy Yeber kind of like products. And you can go Xkimi kind of like projectors. So all those projectors have lots of contrast because they use LEDs and different technology makes it available for better contrast. But their brightness level is lower that brightness level could give you the uh, experience of, okay, this image is better than the other. But when you see them side by side with the bigger size, sometimes you want to have more brighter image. That's what I wanted to explain in this video. So I'm going to keep continue automatically and finish the video. And in the last section of the video, which is kind of like a going back and forth, I know. I'm going to repeat some of the stuff, but there's an important but there. I'm going to close the Epson and use the Wambu with the auto settings. And you're going to see what I see because with the auto exposure settings, it's always what you see because in the dark room, your eyes get adjusted. But of course, there is a little bit of space between the adjustments. Like I can clearly say this is a bright image. This is going to be the brighter than the Wambu. But basically, Wambu has more contrast when you watch it. You feel like Wombo had better overall blacks and it will get you to the scene enough. But again, if you go big, you might want to have some brighter projector. So you can consider, if you're considering something between the Wombo Mozart 1 or DaVinci Pro, 
or X5 or X2 Max, you can go for Mozart 1 because it's brighter. And if they produce something more brighter like the new X5, you can go to that. It's up to you. You can expand your budget with the Wombo or single LED models. And I will close the Epson right now. I'm going back to the Wombo. I'm covering the Wombo's cover. And okay, giving it to the signal and hitting it back with canceling the Samsung DAX. And okay, Samsung DAX happened already. Sorry for that. And we are good to go. So this is the image and the camera is auto-tuned and I'm going to go back a little bit for a brighter scene because I want you to see some bright scenes with the Wombo. By the way, I need to check. Okay, I'm giving 4K. So this is the image from the Wombo, similar size right now. And I think you see the difference already, but the camera is auto adjusting itself to what I see and what I can tell you the blacks are much more black much more darker than the uh, absent or any kind of like bulb projector for that matter the contrast is better but you are kind of like lacking for this size but if I go forward in this scenes you might not get the idea but I'm going to go forward just just a one meter okay to create image or around 100 inch ish this is about 100 inch some plus, and this is the spot that you want to use the Wambu. Basically, my point, my general point is, if you are going to stay under 120 inch, you can go LEDs, uh, less than 1000 ANSI lumen projectors. And many of them think they're ANSI lumen, but in the tests, they give different scores. It's nothing special to do Wombo. By the way, I am not referring Wombo right now as a bad projector. I made dedicated review probably all of their models. This is the way to go. Like if you want to include everything, smart speaker, smart Android, built in good speaker and easy of casting all in one with autofocus, auto correction. If you are going to use it in a dark room, this is the way to go. Simple as it is. But basically, if you want to go big, then 120 inch, then you might want to consider the model that you want to choose carefully. So this is not a comparison to one boom model with an Epson or LED model with a bull projector because both of them has advantages and disadvantages. This is just to teach you if you ever want to decide for the projector brightness, consider again, the contrast is not the only thing that you have to have. Like if you buy an ALR projector for less contrasted bulb or LED projector, you might get a better image for the bigger size. You might need much more brightness. For me in a dark room, if it's a small room, like a 15 meter square meter, 20 square meter, these Wambu LED, single LED projectors are far more than enough for casual use. But if you want to experience best cinema possible, then you might want to consider 1000 ANSI lumen, 1500 ANSI lumen and above, because you might want to look at it. And if you do look sort of projectors side by side, just like in this video, going back and forth, you can clearly get the idea when you want to have brightness. If you want to go small, no problem. If you want to go big, Check this video out and share it if you can. And if you hit the subscribe button, let me just open up lights. If you hit the subscribe and like, that will help the channel to grow. And if you want to add your comment and ask questions, maybe who knows, your question could be, could be another tutorial for the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Home Cinema and Tech Review. Until the next one, hoşçakalın.